Hey guys, it's Rec. Welcome back to Skyrim, kind of, sort of. You're probably going to be a little bit confused seeing what's on the screen right now. Let me try to explain what happened as best as I can. You guys know that I'm trying to redo the Dark Brotherhood off camera because I've already filmed through it, but if I come across something really cool and special, then I have a duty to film it. So, here's part of a montage of cool things that I found uh, since between recording sessions, basically, for Dawnguard. Now, the first thing is we're playing around with Serena here, and we're seeing her abilities. The two things she likes to do in combat are uh, absorb health and uh, ice shards. She kind of switches between those two things uh, on and off, back and forth. She also, um, and we'll probably see this on occasion, resurrects zombies of pretty much everything that you kill. And when I say everything, I mean pretty much everything. Uh, I've got an example of that later. But what we're going to have here is basically the uh, backstory behind what's going on on camera right now. Is I was on my way to do my Dark Brotherhood contract in um, the happy little village you go to before you go up to uh, talk to the Greybeards and I randomly came across this like castle where I walked past it and the bandits were like release the hounds and then like these two were uh, not werewolves these two wolves like popped out at me and I was like oh man this is really cool this is would be a really cool chance for me to uh, show off what Serena can do and I don't have the sound file because I was talking to my guildies in WoW on Vent when this happened, and I don't want to like I don't want to like have them dubbed over all of this talking really fast, so I had to take the audio out. Um, but this little place that I found was kind of neat. Uh, there's a lot of bandits in here, and one of the things that I found in the bottom of the dungeon. Namely this, what you're seeing right now, is a dogfighting ring. So this random little fort in the middle of nowhere basically has its own, like, underground dogfighting sect. And <laughs> you can see the two, like, wolves going at it down there as I'm running around and murdering everyone in my werewolf form. Uh, I tried to get in there, but I can't really get the door open because I don't have use of my lockpicking abilities right now. So... I end up running through here and checking this place out, and I'm thinking, it's pretty cool. Uh, I went through after I did my werewolf rampage and cleared it out, and there's a lot of money behind the counters there where they uh, have, uh, I guess, the ticket booth for... Uh, oh, man, I didn't get that chest when I went back through there. Crap! I didn't even notice that little chest sitting in the water for some reason. But, yeah. Um... Another thing about this big run is I got a lot of hearts and I managed to get one of my perk trees maxed out for my werewolf abilities. And the perk I got maxed out first, and I think I would recommend this to about everyone building a werewolf character, is there is a perk that I'm going to be getting that allows you to feast off of more than just humans. You get a reduced effect, but it counts as an additional heart. Um... I think I end up eating a skeever at some point in here. I don't really remember accurately, but more hearts equals more perks. You end up building your tree up faster. Oh, here I go. I'm already throwing points in there. Savage feeding, that's what it is. But I took gorging, and then I took savage feeding. So that's a lot of like vitality. Um... Because I think the most important thing about playing a werewolf, uh, the werewolf form, is once you go werewolf form, you can't really get out of it very easily, so it behooves you to be very dur- I freaked out, I nearly got my face blown off there with that trap. That <laughs> was like, oh shit, I need to put points in the sneak thing so I won't set off any more of these stupid pressure plates. Because I, th I think I was running around, and after I got that that uh, perk for my sneak abilities, I didn't 
I don't set off pressure plates anymore in werewolf form. And that's nice. That's super nice because in werewolf form, you're just like, you're rampaging and running around super fast, so you just don't notice them. And you just randomly get killed, and it's horrible. But, uh, uh, that was pretty good. Th- this whole place is really cool. Uh, I don't really remember the name of it, though. I just know that it's between. Riften and oh God Iverstead. That's the place. That's the place you go before you go up the mountain to talk to all the crazy gray beards and stuff. I remember now. That's where it is. So after clearing out all of these bandits and stuff below the castle in my light speed werewolfiness. By the way, this is sped up to double time in case you couldn't tell. I don't know if I said that already or not. I got up here and I was like, well, where the heck's the bandit leader at? I can see him up at the top of the tower, but I can't exactly get up to him. And I don't know if there's a staircase or something, but this is where I somehow put two and two together. And I was like, I've got to jump up there somehow, but I'm in werewolf form. And then I realized I've never actually jumped in werewolf form before. So you can jump in werewolf form, and that was something I learned from this ridiculous experience and playing around this crazy tower with all these bandits. I I just, I never even thought to try jumping in werewolf form. I've never needed to until just now, but, uh, yeah, hooray. So I end up climbing up to the top. Oh, here's that, here's the wolf, I think. I ate, yeah. So being able to eat animals and get more hearts to unlock perks faster. Awesome. Highly recommended that you take that path first before everything else. Launch the bandit chief off the side there. And then I get up here and I'm all like, yay, I've got all this loot to go through now, so I'm going to just wait and let my werewolf form cancel off. So after that, I came back and I found this thing. This is the diary of the chef that is working like feeding all these bandits and he's going on and on about all of the meat they need <laughs> and from all the dog fighting he's just got a stockpile of the meat saved up and I thought that was pretty freaking hilarious and here's another I gotta oh man I think I'm gonna have to pause at this when I said Serena can resurrect anything I, I was quite serious um <laughs> resurrecting rabbits what the fuck? They even attacked, too. I was, like, going after a dragon at the time, and this little bunny got resurrected by Serena and just, like, charged up. I don't even know if it was, like, doing any damage or something, but it was the funniest freaking thing ever. And that made me laugh really, really hard when it happened. And let's see. what other, what what's, what's the last thing? Okay. The last thing, I know I'm all over the place here. The last thing I discovered is not part of Dawnguard at all. This is more in line with my companion playthrough, but I thought it was really interesting, so I decided to film it. Um, If you play uh, and you unlock the werewolf thing before you join the Dark Brotherhood, you get special dialogue from Ambiorn, uh, which is Astrid's husband who's normally really, really cold and calculating towards you. And what the last clip I'm going to finish this video off with is him talking to you and being all like, oh man, so you're a companion, huh? And I'll just let you guys listen to that. And I know this has been a really derpy video, but uh, I try to share cool things with you guys, even if I can't really do it uh, in a way that I normally would want to. Uh, But... Hey, I'll, uh, I'm just making do with what I've got here, and um, we'll get back to Dawn Guard in our next uh, in our next video. So, take care, guys. See y'all. I might ask the same of you, for you are more than mortal. You are Moonborn. You are Wolf. So you're a companion then. I can't imagine you got your gift anywhere else. I hope you have better luck with them than I did. Oh yes, I was once brother to the Companions. Let's just say they found my methods unsettling. The Dark Brotherhood, obviously, feels differently.